Hey everybody, it's James. How you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Patreon poll pick kind of weird scenario because this movie actually won the Boot Camp War poll, but I recorded Full Metal Jacket because I was heading for Japan and it was way ahead. And uh, so I just recorded Full Metal Jacket. Well, when I came back, from Japan to find out that it didn't win, that this movie won. The Patriot was the movie I was supposed to watch. So this is me catching up to something I should have watched like weeks and weeks and weeks ago. And uh, I got called out by my Patreons. And this isn't the only movie I screwed up on. But there's another one I screwed up on. I'll record that one later. You can laugh at me about that one too. I feel bad. It just, I was rushing. I was like crazy trying to get ahead for Japan and several things got messed up in the, that's what happens when you're like rushing to get things done. Um, so the, uh, all I know is this is a boot camp slash war movie. That's all I know because that's what this channel is all about is I go into these blind, completely blind. I've never seen a poster or a background or a preview, nothing. And my boys complain how previews, especially nowadays, they say, ruin movies for them. And so they've gotten to the point where they stop watching movies, uh, I mean, uh, pre previews, and just go to the movie blind like I do. Uh, but they see posters and stuff like that, so it's not blind. They know something about it. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm James. I'm an ex-Iowa farmer who grew up in the middle of nowhere and only have three channels of my TV, so we just didn't watch it. I became a massive bookworm and have been for over 30 years. And uh, my oldest children convinced me to start this channel and start catching up on all the awesome U.S. movies I haven't seen. And you get a benefit. I get to watch them because they're awesome. You get to watch me see stuff for the very first time. I've never seen these movies before. Uh, also, I have a second channel now called Awesome Shows. You can catch that on YouTube. You just search for Awesome Shows, one word, and my head will pop up. I'm watching uh, Two Detectives over there, Breaking Bad's over there, The Good Place is over there. Uh, what else? Oh, Patreon. I'm watching a whole bunch of exclusive stuff over there now. The uh, shows that eventually go to Awesome Shows are recorded for Patreon first, and I'm watching Ted Lasso right now. And I'm watching Band of Brothers right now. So go check that out over on Patreon if those two shows interest you. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah, thanks to my Patreons. Thanks to all of you for liking and subscribing to the channel. That's important. Uh, we're trying to get to 25,000 subs. It's a big deal. Uh, but yeah, let's watch The Patriot. Columbia, huh? Okay. I've learned that Warner Brothers is a pain in my butt when it comes to editing. I learned that. That's been going on for a couple of years. Mel Gibson. Oh, look at the axe. That my sins would return to visit me. And the cost is more than I can bear. Wow. Holy crap. This sounds awesome so far. Uh, Mel Gibson sounds familiar. Um, I know those hats. What war are we dealing with here? Are we doing civil? We got horses. We ain't dealing with cars. I think we're dealing with the Civil War. Thank you. That's how the mail used to get delivered. Music by John Williams. I think he's a famous composer. Thomas, wait for father. Oh, no touching the mail, apparently. Did he make a rocking chair? Oh, no. <laughs> Not enough lateral support. Oh, <laughs> we've been doing this for a while. South Carolina. We departed this life. Did the mother pass away for the kids? He's got several kids. Good night. It helps her no mother's there. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. Six kids. Is he dragging him along? So what was in the mail? Nope. <laughs> That's a password. 
Charlestown, new recruits. Peter Cuppen joined the Continentals. He's 17, a year younger than I. Oh, you're 18? I've been called to Charlestown. Town. We're going to Charlestown? We're going on a journey, it sounds like. Look at the boats. They're huge. What have you been feeding them? She looks familiar. <laughs> Come inside. Oh, this is her sister. I have this for you, Susan. She's still not talking. No. It does me good to see you. Oh, that's a nice thing to say. I lost most of my hearing, and how did King George reward me? So this is the in independence. You all know why I'm here, and I would not try to convince you of the worthiness of our cause. Mm-hmm. I bet. They know the and cause. And we are at war. But South Carolina is not. Here, here. This is not a war for the independence of one or two colonies. R no, of course not. But for the independence of one nation. Yeah. Why should I trade? One tyrant 3,000 miles away for 3,000 tyrants one mile away. <laughs> I understood you to be a patriot. If you're asking me, am I willing to go to war with England? Well, then the answer is most definitely no. If your principles dictate independence, then war is the only way. My wife is dead. Now, who's to care for them if I go to war? Mm, yeah. Seven children. This war will be fought not on the frontier, but amongst us. Especially along the coast, of course. And because I will not fight, I will not cast a vote. They don't seem very happy with that decision. Neither does his son, obviously. <laughs> 28 to 12, the levy passed! Okay, we're going to war. Do you intend to enlist without my permission? Yes, I do. I thought you were a man of principle. He is. When you have a family of your own, perhaps you'll understand. When I have a family of my own, I won't hide behind them. Oh! She... Oh, Jesus. Okay, son. Make him a clerk or a quartermaster, something of that sort. Good luck. Yeah. British already took over the entire town. That didn't take Here long. Us. Here in the north, yeah. our campaign has been marked by defeat. This is... The way they fought was crazy. My good friend, Peter Cuppen, fell at Elizabethtown. His death has been difficult to bear. It would be. War is hell. But I consider myself fortunate to be serving the cause of liberty, to give my life in its service. But above all, pray for the cause. Wow, how hard for the father to hear these words. What's with the axe? What are you doing? His son wants to be go to war. That's it, Thomas. When? 17. The war could be over by then. Oh, God willing. Yeah, he wants it to be over. What happened at Fort Wilderness? Oh, yeah. Tell me. Put it away. Oh. Okay. Difficult subject, apparently. Six pounders. Cannons. How far away? Oh, they're a long way off. They put those in the house. Let's all stay close into the house tonight, all right? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Slowly turn. Oh, it's his son. Water and bandages, fat. <sighs> he's oh, he's cut. Gates, I saw the Virginia regular surrender. The dragoons rode into them. That's why you don't surrender. I can't stay here. It's not safer. That sounded close. Oh, Jesus. That scared me. <laughs> it is close. It's in their front yard. <laughs> the way they just line up, it's insane. They've got wounded. Redcoats. And they're all coming towards his house. Thank you for the care of his majesty's soldiers. Who are these people with fancy hats? Fire the house and bombs. Uh, what? If you harbor the enemy, you will lose your head. Who carried this? I did, sir. I was wounded. These people gave me care. Here's a spy. Hang him, put his body on display. Oh. He's a dispatch rider, and that's a marked case. Colonel, this is a uniform dispatch rider. He's a colonel. Colonel. Father. Oh. Oh, I see. Would you like a lesson, sir, in the rules of war? Or perhaps your children will. This guy's an ass. What of the rebel wounded? Kill them. Oh. This is barbaric. 
There are rules associated with war. No, 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 no! I saw that coming. He's not gonna live. They just tear a hole right through your body. Stupid boy. Captain? Ah! I just recognized him! <laughs> it's Lucius Malfoy! This is his. He's gonna lose two sons, and they're burning his place down. Oh, and they're taking her too. Well, he's the ass. He needs to die. Long if you stay here. Oh, oh, we're grabbing our axe. Nathan, Samuel, Margaret. If we're not back by sunset, I want you to take him to your aunt Charlotte's. What are we doing? Just a reminder that I'm offering a seven-day free trial to new Patreons. That is where you can find all my full reactions and this exclusive content. We're going to go kill that guy? I want you two to start with the officers and work your way down. We're shooting soldiers? What did I tell you fellas about shooting? Aim small, Aim small miss, miss small. small. That's right. Aim small, miss small. One, two, three, four. There's a lot of them. There's like 30 of them. Lord, make me fast and accurate. Oh, it's on now. Oh, oh good shot, boys. Oh, that's three, four. Oh, five. Six. Oh, seven. We're doing good. Ooh, hand to hand. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Woo. Right in the head! Holy crap! Oh, yeah, he knows how to use that axe. Don't go watch. Don't. This is just fury. Covered in blood. Oh, did one of them get away? Private, what happened? How many were there? Were there militia? Maybe one. Maybe one. Sounds more like a ghost than a man. Yes. Take a patrol. Why should I trust a man who betrays his neighbors? Well, those neighbors of mine who stand against England deserve to die a traitor's death. Hmm? Oh, he switched sides. Father, I killed those men. Yes, you did. You did what I told you to do. You were a soldier doing, following orders. I'm glad. I bet he is as well. You've done nothing for which you should be ashamed. But I've done nothing. And for that I am ashamed. So he thinks he should have sided with the colonials and gone to war. I don't think that would have prevented this. Gates and the Continental Army are at Hillsborough. No, no, your place is here now. I'm going back. It is his duty, yes. Don't you walk away from me, boy. I'm sorry, Father. I'll find you when this is all over. No, you're not going. I, I forbid you to go. I'm not a child. You're my child. No. Oh. <laughs> he is his child. Thomas is dead. How many more have to die before you'll heed my word? You're my child. <laughs> he just wants to protect them. But he's 18. He's an adult. I'm losing my family. Those two are going to end up together. Goodbye. Didn't say a word. Somebody's leaving in a hurry. They are ransacked. Look at that beautiful entryway. Oh! We don't build houses like that anymore. It's insanity to me! The way they fought this war. And it just, those cannonballs don't stop when they hit the ground. Oh my god, it's just insane to me! Gates is a damn fool. Going muzzle to muzzle with red coats in open field. It's madness. Yeah, it is madness. Jesus. Oh my god. One one of those just Yeah, look at that! Just Oh <laughs> These rustics are so inept. Nearly takes the honor out of victory. Nearly. Where's your general Gates now? Riding hard northeast. Oh, oh. What are my orders? 
So now there's nothing to stop him from heading north to finish off Washington. Until the French arrive. The French? You actually trust the French to keep their word? Absolutely. The hero of Fort Wilderness, your reputation precedes you. He even knows who he is. I'm giving you a field commission as a colonel. Colonel? That you transfer my son here under my command. Sir, no, I... No, that's done. Soldier now for two years. As a scout, horseman... Where'd you learn all that? Riding, shooting, scavenging. My father taught me. Yeah! <laughs> we'll meet at Old Spanish Mission in Black Swan. Yes, sir. And Corporal, be careful. Yes, sir. Oh, here's a fort. There's walls. Oh, yeah. Definitely a fort. It's 100,000 acres. It's an imposing land ground, my lord. You will be a country unto yourself. We're deciding to div divvy up the land already? His Majesty, like history, judges us not only by the outcome of the war, but the manner in which it was fought. The oh, hall, yeah. Surrendering troops will be given quarter. These brutal yep. tactics must stop. Good for you. I advance myself only through victory. You advance yourself only through my good graces. Oh, know your place. Maybe he should have learned that lesson before killing off his son. The South Carolina militia is being called up. I'm here to enlist every man willing. How many times have I heard you speak of freedom at my father's table? I like her. Including you, father, are as ardent patriots as I. Will you now, when you are needed most, stop at only words? Whoa, called him out. He likes her. Who's with us? Oh, there's one. And all it takes is start the start start the wave. Yep, there's two. Oh, there we go. Five. There we go. May I have permission to write to Anne? Yes. You have permission. Yeah. Reverend? Oh, the Reverend's going. The shepherd must tend his flock. Good for you, Reverend. So we've got two love interests in the movie, the sister and then this young lady. Are you sure this is the right place to recruit for a militia? God save King George! Oh, yep, I think that's the right place. Yep. <laughs> that's one way to do it. Time to kill me some red coats. <laughs> But his time will come. John Billings. There's a story going around about some 20 redcoats got killed by a ghost or something. Uh-huh. Aren't you a little old to be believing in ghost stories? <laughs> they know who it was. He's melting them down. They're made out of lead, aren't they? He's making musket balls. Take a fire! You hi yeah, that's how you do it. They don't even see you coming. Yeah, yeah, there, this is, this is my kind of war. We're in the swamp now. Oh, these men are about to surrender. We will never know. We are better men than that. He's right. In the future, full quarter will be given to British wounded and any who surrender. I know what you and your men did to my countrymen at Fort Wilderness. Oh. This is not regular Are we getting army. the story? You will obey my command, or I will have you shot. <laughs> it's the personal correspondence of Lord Cornwallis. Oh. I don't know about the rest of you, but I don't like the idea of giving muskets to slaves. Your sense of freedom is as pale as your skin. <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> but we'll have a chance to build a new world. A world where all men are created equal unto God. Even you. Lord Cornwallis knows more about warfare than we could hope to learn in a dozen lifetimes. Wow. That's cheerful news. You're right. And perhaps that's his weakness. Pride. Yeah, he's prideful. Colonel, mm -hmm. if you can't protect our supply lines against militia, how do you intend doing so against the colonial regulars or the French when they arrive? My lord, they won't fight like regulars. We can't find them. Of course. They can't find them. <laughs> oh. We're dressed up. You look good in that color. In red coats. Oh, they blew it up. Oh, fireworks. Love. Yeah, no, that's not fireworks. Not the kind they wanted. Oh, look who's here. I've come to call on Anne. I've come to call on Anne. Of course, you call yourself a man. Nah. <laughs> well. 
phone on her. What is this? I, I think bundling bags are a wonderful tradition. Bundling bags. So they sleep together, but he's in a bag so he can't get out? Oh, she put ink in his tea? <laughs> All bound slaves who give minimum one year service will be granted freedom. Yeah. Only another six months. What in the hell are you going to do with freedom? Whatever he wants. He's free. I made this for you. Yeah, toy gun. Look after your mother. Her lips are black. She's all black. Her, <laughs> her mouth is all black, just like his. These wagons now belong to the Continental Army. We got a lot of uh, guns. He's he's right there. He's watching. Well, I advise you and your men to make way. Yeah, they got more men. A lot of more men. They got cocky. Oh, he's gonna save him, even though he was a jerk to him. Oh, there's more of them! No, I don't think he could have made that shot. Not with a pistol. 20 to her dad, 20 are missing. I'm through. Oh, no. Trust me soon, my countrymen will arrive. We don't need them. We got Benjamin Martin. <laughs> yeah, what's the story there? Strangers know more about you than I do. That's a good point, Dad. The fort was abandoned. But what we found was they killed all the settlers with the women and some of the children. They had, we buried yeah. them all. But we caught up Bar in the fort wilderness. Barbaric war. We cut them apart slowly. Jeez. We placed the heads on a pallet, the eyes, tongues, sent them down the ash load of the Cherokee. Oh my gosh. And not a day goes by where I don't ask God's forgiveness for what I did. I can understand that. Thomas was my brother. You may not believe this, but I want satisfaction as much as you do. Oh, I'm sure you do. Yeah. The British got 18 of our men at Fort Caroline. They're going to be hung one at a time until they give up the rest of us. So they have hostages now. Oh, who's this? Oh, the puppies. Is he going to trade the dogs for the soldiers? Oh, yeah, because he makes rocking chairs. <laughs> he wants to try it out. He's like, why is this so difficult? My good boys, my brave boys. I don't know your name. I'm a colonel with the Continental Army. My rank should be sufficient for now. You have in your possession certain personal effects of a non-military nature, which, um, which I'd like to have returned to me. I will do so as soon as possible. A colonel, you must know that in civilized warfare, officers in the field must not be accorded in appropriate levels mm. of hostile attention. There must be gentlemen in command to lead. Oh, yeah, what about your second? Restrain them from, say, targeting civilians, women, children, and such. That's a separate issue. No, no, no. I can oh, no. And as long as your soldiers attack civilians, I will order the shooting of officers at the outset of every engagement. And my men are excellent marksmen. Oh, <laughs> You have 18 of my men. I want them back. If that's your position, 18 of your officers will have to die. My officers? Top of the ridge to your left. Oh, he does have prisoners. Arrange the exchange. Okay, prisoner exchange. He gets, yes, doggies need to stay. Oh, here comes the bad guy. Does he recognize him? He's the commander of the militia. See that sort of Oh. Out. He rode in under a white flag for formal parlay. I remember you from that farm, that stupid little boy. Yo, he's trying to jive him. Jive him, just poke him right in the ribs. Did he die? He knows if he does something, they'll shoot him Before down. This war's over, I'm going oh, to good. <laughs> oh, is he, the dogs are going to get away? Yeah, the dogs did get away. <laughs> They were fake! They were scarecrows! <laughs> One of our captured officers, my lord. Uh huh! I want you to find that man. I can capture him for you, but to do so requires the use of tactics that are somewhat brutal, I think. I alone will assume the full mantle of responsibility for my actions 
rendering you blameless. If I do this, you and I both know that I can never return to England with honor. The new aristocracy will be landowners. Tell me about Ohio. Ohio? On the Santee, east of Black Swamp. Who lived there? Benjamin Martin. He's the ghost. Where would he hide his children? No! His wife's sister has a plantation. They're gonna go after his kids! Go, go, go! Hurry up, go! He's staying behind! Oh, he would have known that noise. Search the outbuildings in the woods, quickly. Yes, sir. Oh, he's got a gun. Oh, he's just hiding on the other side. Just think about the generations of wealth destroyed during this war. Too late, they already burned the house. Get the kids out of there, it's just a distraction. Where is father? Oh, she talked. We'll come and see you as soon as he can. She hates him. And I hope he never comes back. Wow. Strong words. She spoke. Yeah. As if she'd been uh, speaking all along. Damn, I wasn't there for it. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that feeling. That she loves you and uh, mm -hmm, sure. misses you. My lord, she said that. Pappington has a list of our men. He's burning our homes. Is that his house? They burned it. Oh no! Oh, he had his toy gun. He was trying to protect his mom. No! no! Oh! Uh. Attend to your families. Father! Father! Oh, is she gonna go talk to him? He wants to hear her voice so bad. Susan? She's scared of him, I think. Father, what changed you? It was your mother. A woman can have a strange effect on a man. You once said, when I had a family of my own that I'd understand, you were right. Does he have a family? Oh, is his girlfriend coming? Patricia Howard, will you have this man to- Yeah, we're getting married. I will. Will you love- When are these two gonna start? For so long? I now pronounce you man and wife. Yeah. <laughs> Belong to Gabriel's mother. It's lovely. It's beautiful. You must take his wife. He's got to take his wife for a little damn. A reason to celebrate during difficult times. How nice. Well. She wants kisses. Wouldn't be the first time a widowed husband marries the sister goodbye you gonna kiss her yeah <laughs> oh what about her just one more detail i want all right <laughs> Papa. oh <laughs> Sweetie pie. How many of them came back? Just the three of us? Three. Four would have been better. Yeah. Is there more coming? Well, a bunch of more coming. I got another two months to go before I get to 12 months. And he's free. Trust the French. Where else do I get the opportunity to kill a few red coats? Uh. <laughs> Everyone's been requested to gather at the church. Colonel Tavington wishes to address the whole village. This town was given aid to Benjamin Martin and his rebels. Anyone who comes forward may be forgiven their treason. Is anybody going to come forward? This man gives Martin and his men supplies. Quiet! The Black Swamp, you say? Thank you very much. Shut the doors. What are they going to do? Burn the church. What? You're going to be judged by a lot more than him in life, buddy. God is going to judge you. Yeah. 
There you go. That's messed up. They would have seen the smoke for miles. They're not here. Surprised there's any bodies left. Oh, the little North Star. What is it? Gabriel's gone. You go after him? At least he's not by himself. Yeah. Here they come. Get them all. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. He's gonna get yeah. out. Give him your weapon. Good. Good. Load your weapon. Do it and shoot him again. Don't get close to him. Oh, I hope he's dead. I hope he's dead. <laughs> ah! Dang it! I knew it. He was playing possum. Should have loaded your gun and shot him again. Just don't talk. Don't talk. I'll take care of you. You're going to be all right. He's not going to be all right. I'm sorry. Oh, son, that wasn't your fault. That was mine. You're gonna be all right. You're Gabriel. Do. <laughs> oh, now he lost two of his sons. How badly did he injure the other guy? Benjamin, nothing will replace your sons. But if you come with us, you can justify their sacrifice. I have long feared that my sins would return to visit me, and the cost is more than I can bear. Yeah, it really can be. Stay the course. Oh, that's what his wife said. I have run my course. What about your promise? To kill him by the end of this war, to kill that man. Oh, the flag he was mending. Yeah, he stitched it all back together. Oh, he's got the little flag that he fixed. Finish. Stay the course. Gentlemen, Cornwallis has us cornered. Not only does he outnumber us, but nearly half of our force is militia. I believe you underestimate our militia. When letters bear out that he has no respect for the militia, none whatsoever. What are you suggesting, Ben? I'm suggesting we use that. What are we gonna do? Oh. Down to one little army man. <clears throat> well, look how fancy he is. If I die, I will die well dressed. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready firing cannons. Wow, look at that. It's an insane amount of army. How scary would this be for you? Just for anybody. It's October now. I know. It's more than 12 months. He's free. free man. I'm here now on my own accord. I'm honored to have you with us. Oh, I changed his attitude. Mac Runners! Take it! Everybody just stand there while bullets come flying at your ass. Look at that. Now it's our turn. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Yeah, those balls will do some damage. Oh, he sees him. Damn that man. Retreat. Retreat. Yeah, go, go, go. Retreat. Send the entire battalion over that hill and crush them. Oh, what's on the other side of the hill? Yeah, there's the rest of the people. Yeah, there you go. There's some cannons right back at your butts. You're running now, aren't you? Woo! Oh, he sees him. Don't retreat! Yeah, the other way, dummies! There we go! All oh, the redcoats are running now! Oh, there's your buddy! You need a, a put down the freaking flag! Get your gun out! Oh! Yeah! Stab the horse! 
Oh, his little ball from his guys. Oh, oh, got him in the arm. Oh, goodness. Oh, punch. Oh, got his arm. Got his other arm. Oh, he got it back of his leg. Oh, no. Oh, he's back. Hey, guys in blue, go sh kill this guy in red right behind him. Kill me before the war is over, will you? You are not the better man. Something's got to happen. <laughs> Woo! You're right. My sons were better men. Oh, man. He's super dead. Good for you. Little vengeance. Sign the retreat. He lost one. They won. We continued to engage the British, and in the months that followed, Cornwallis entrenched himself at Yorktown, Virginia. Whoa, yeah. It was blocked off by our long lost friends. The French arrived. Vive la France. Yeah. <laughs> Vive la liberté. My lord, I beseech you. Cornwallis himself hid in shame, appointing his subordinate to relinquish his sword. Tell the children, and especially Susan, that I will keep my promise, as I will be returning to you all. Yeah. So, uh, your wife's expecting a child soon, isn't she? She gave birth to a son three weeks ago. What'd you name him? We named him Gabriel. No. Very nice. Thank you, Harry. <laughs> yeah, they've grown to be friends. They still got the dogs. <laughs> They're rebuilding the house. She's had a baby. Gabriel said if we won the war, we could build a whole new world. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Just think how long it would take to build a house yeah. like that. Yeah. I'm assuming the end. Yeah. Very good. Let's talk about it. That was The Patriot, and what an enjoyable film. I mean, this was definitely war. Not so much of the boot camp part of that, but this is definitely war. And it was the war of our independence against the British, which is a very important war in our country's history. I got it wrong at the beginning. I thought it was civil. It's or before that. But, um, yeah. I really enjoyed it, and uh, Mel Gibson is the lead character. I only know him from Lethal Weapon, I think, but um, I know the name. And then um, the guy that was the bad guy, his you know opponent was the Lucius from Harry Potter. It was you know uh, Draco's dad. I didn't recognize him until like like thirty forty minutes into the movie. <laughs> uh, the I referenced a story about my wife and my um, our nuptials. And in the movie, just like in the movie, our nuptials, the preacher was saying his, you know, his, the saying the vows and everything. And then he paused. He stopped because he was supposed to say, you may kiss the bride. But he never said it. He just paused. And the same occurred in the movie. And uh, I leaned forward to kiss my new bride. And she's like, no, she's like, not yet. And then she looks the pastor and he's like, yep. And she's like, oh, okay. It's all on video and everything. It's great. I was denied my <laughs> bride's kiss <laughs> during our vows. It's a great story from our, our life of love and happiness together. It's just, um, you know. I very much love my wife. I very much love marriage and family and my children. And I think um, there are hard times for people with that. But the difficulty with relationships and marriage and children and life and financials associated with that, um, the happiness far, far, far outweighs the difficult times. You just have to bear the course. Stick with it. Everyone fights. Everyone bickers. You just, you have to work together. It's very, very important to communicate. And we've had tough times. And we've had more glee in our life than tough times. It's 
it's not even a measurable thing. Um, we're just very, very happy together. And I'm still so in love with her. <laughs> and our children. And we have a grandchild now. And so we can love on her. Uh, anyways, um, thank you so much to my patrons for picking this. I'm so sorry I screwed up the poll and I watched Full Metal Jacket instead. But that was a great movie as well. So <laughs> I guess, you know, two for the price of one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, don't forget about my second channel. It's Awesome Shows. There's a link below if you'd like to check that out. Make sure you subscribe. Of course, we're trying to get to 25,000 subs. Like the channel. And uh, put a comment put down below. I like answering uh, all the questions and stuff and uh, commenting on people's comments. It's fun. But uh, thanks to all of you, of course, for watching the channel and supporting the channel as we grow. And um, yeah. Uh, other than that, Never forget, never forget. It's very important that you remember that you are awesome. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.